what's up guys, this is a tech press here and today I'm doing an unboxing and review of the Steinhauer Ultra Optics screen protector for the new iPad and the new iPad 2. So this is a quick packaging look here at the back has some information and that but for me this is a bit of the case. So let's quickly get into here. It's just a little peel thing that's easy to peel off. So just to show you what's inside the box here, just put these guys back like here. And in here you get um, you get this LCD cleaner and you get some really cool instruction manual and um, some information there get here and um, a squeegee and that's it. So that's everything you get inside the box here. So here is the squeegee, just a quick close up there, it's pretty cool. And then the LCD cleaner, which is really, really useful for cleaning the iPad screen because some people have difficulty cleaning their screen to get perfect. And this is what else they sell here, some USB thing there. But this is actually what it's like. It has some really clean instructions there for you guys. And inside here comes a protector and the cloth. So just do um, show you what, what it looks like on the actual iPad. And I'll catch you guys in the next clip. So this is uh, me demoing the screen protector on the iPad here now. So just to show you guys uh, the installation here, there's barely any bubbles inside. The installation is very easy, but it's hard to get the bubbles out. There's some dust trapped inside, but that is very hard to get out because it's in the middle, but that's because of the installation. But as you can see, when the screen protector is installed, you can barely notice the iPad, um, the screen protector on the iPad for instance. So if I was like playing for example a game of FIFA you wouldn't even notice that it's on but it gives it a bit of a different texture to the normal screen so you, you'll notice that. And then for a far out view it looks as if there's nothing on there either. So a disadvantage of it is that of the texture it gives, but a massive advantage is that it looks as if there's nothing on there and the cut out holes are perfectly fitting for the iPad and I'd probably just say it is probably one of the best screen protectors out there for looking as if there isn't a screen protector. So that's a review of the um, Spigen screen protector for the iPad and I hope you guys purchase one of these, the link will be in the description below perfectly easy to install and doesn't look as if anything's on it just gives it a bit of a weird texture catch you guys in the next one peace